Hey everyone, Christian here, and I'm coming to you from sunny Punta Gorda. I was here a couple weeks ago doing some night vlogs, but <clears throat> it's obviously, um, you can see, you can view much more during the day. And I want to do a vlog on why you don't see a lot of tall coconuts, even in South Florida. And it's really not because of the cold. The, the cold is one factor in um, the death of coconuts around here, but also... Um, as you can see here, there's these two very old coconuts. Now, they're not, they're not that tall. They're about 25 feet or so. But th these are actually pretty old. You can see that they have some gnarly trunks. Things have uh, pecked into them. They've gone through some bends and turns and twists in their trunk. And that's fairly typical of uh, coconuts, especially old ones. And let me just adjust that there. Okay. And uh, it's getting a little loose on me there. But uh, you can see that the crown on this coconut is not looking so hot. It has leaves that are coming out that are decent, but um, they're just not full, and they shouldn't be. They're they're usually a lot fuller. And these are old, um, tall varieties. It's hard to tell what kind because they're the crown is so ragged. But they look like kind of like a, a <clears throat> excuse me, a Pacific tall variety. The um, the, the Atlantic talls, the Jamaican and Panama talls, tend to have a bigger crown. But they could be them because they could just be sick and. The crown, the crown on this one here actually uh, is pretty rough. I'd be surprised if this was here next year because of the, um, it just, a lot of the leaves are coming back. It's hard to see what's going on in the crown, but I believe it's having some kind of rot issue. So these are both pretty weak plants. And I'd imagine they are, they've probably been here since the 70s, maybe the 80s. Um, but I don't believe that they're any, any younger than that. And the reason I don't believe that is during the, uh, during the 70s and 80s, there was a uh, virus that kind of came through initially for the, I don't know if it had been come by before, but um, it's called lethal yellowing. And lethal yellowing essentially uh, will just, uh, it's kind of like leukemia for plants and it comes through and it'll just basically destroy a plant's immune system and uh, eventually it'll die off to, um, to really anything that can come in and, and kill it. So like palmetto weevils or any sort of other bugs or fungus. And so this kind of started in Miami when some, uh, some plants were imported through there, I believe for the Caribbean. It started down there and it came up into South Florida and kind of spread northward. Now, it didn't really get much beyond here, uh, here in Punta Gorda. So if you go further north, you might see a few really old, tall um, uh, coconuts. There's also some tall ones on Miami Beach and those survive through, uh, there's antibiotic you can give them. And so they have to be almost uh, injected on a regular basis to keep their uh, to keep those around because they really can't. They really just are very sick plants, unfortunately. Um, you, th there are a few healthy ones that were just immune to it, but they're they're quite rare. So beyond that, um, you know, in 2004, the uh, Hurricane Charlie came right through this harbor. I mean, literally came from that direction. The eye of the hurricane came right through here and right up the, this uh, river, the Peace River. So, you know, you can imagine 140 mile an hour winds, although coconuts can take that, it'll still put a beating on them, it'll still bend them, it can, you know, it can not snap them, but this one's kind of bent a little sideways, even though it's in full sun, and that was probably due to, uh, you know, wind damage, and uh, just in general, it, they may not get the best care, and as, as palms get older, they tend to be a little bit weaker um, when they get way beyond their mature age, so I would imagine these are probably I would imagine this palm looks like it's a little bit older than that than the other one I would say it's from the 60s or 70s and this is probably from the 70s or so it's really hard to tell to date it unless you have pictures of this park from back then which may not even exist this park may not have even been here these may have just been rogue coconuts growing here um, but this is a really nice park this is called Gilchrist Park um, it's in it's just west of downtown Punta Gorda and there's nice uh, sports facilities, uh, tennis courts, uh, fields, barbecue stuff, and uh, it's it's really beautifully landscaped. Uh, it's well taken care of, and you can see in, over here, if you look through the screen there, um, you can see that there's plenty of nice beautiful royals. All of these are pretty old, all went through Charlie, and there's this really neat, uh, if you can see here, this pygmy date, just one regular pygmy date, and then this monstrous hybrid of a pygmy, which looks like it was hybridized with um, canariensis or something larger, maybe sylvestris possibly. 
and uh, it has this huge crown of leaves and these are actually quite desirable these larger hybrid pygmy date types that clump so um, but yeah I just want to talk more about the you know the the coconuts and uh, they just because of the transforming landscape of Florida and the fact that there's you know this construction going on right here things get moved around sometimes these will get dug up and moved although these are probably I assume have been here for the, the entire stay and this seawall may not, may not have been here before um, so as they get older they just they become more susceptible and two other forms of uh, death besides you know the natural death or getting cut down um, so we'll see if these are still around for much longer there were more of these around but these are kind of the last two standing there's actually one coconut there as you can see but it's probably not going to form to a full size you can tell that the crown is definitely a lot smaller than it used to be you can see at some point along there probably about four feet down from the crown you can see where it kind of just really started dwindling and that might have been the hurricane just weakening it and it could have been a cold snap um so i mean it's, that's not entirely out of the question and uh yeah it, it's just really hard to, to tell but when they get beaten down like this it's just they rarely get replanted and a lot of the newer coconuts that are planted are usually a semi-dwarf type um you know a may pan um, something to that effect and they will not get as tall nearly as fast and they will but they will be more robust and you'll see that they have like a thicker trunk and so these old coconuts have kind of just really taken a beating between the wind uh, virus and the cold over the years so i just wanted to uh, show that to everyone so when you see really tall coconuts in florida you know definitely don't take them for granted they're pretty cool just watch out for falling nuts they will they will hurt a lot uh, if not knock you out cold so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel uh, go ahead and subscribe and see many more palm videos like this and if you have any questions about where to find some of these cool old coconuts in Florida or about them in general leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as I get a chance I'll see you guys next time